I've been doing theater for 37 years. And to create a role on Broadway and then to be able to do it in the film, it's like a dream come true. There were so many moments where Donnie and I would, would just look around and be like, can you believe that we are here? Especially Donnie, I mean, because he did it back in La Jolla before he even went to Broadway. He was just on set the other day and I just was like, man, this must be surreal for you to just bring it full circle like that. This entire experience from La Jolla to Broadway till now, it's like the big bow on the, on the, on the gift of Jersey Boys for me. I've always been a, a big fan of Clint Eastwood. I think he's a genius and one of our greatest directors. Yeah. Close yeah. up. Cool. And the opportunity like this doesn't come around much for Broadway performers. Donnie Kerr was in the show because Des McEnough said, there's this guy, Donnie Kerr. He's going to be in the show because Donnie's one of those guys who is a triple threat. He can act, sing, and dance. Also happens to be a great musician. And what's super cool is that when the show was first being developed in La Jolla, he was the original Jip DiCarlo. You fight. Jip was a, is a very passionate Italian man. Chip was a, a, like a godfather in a way to, to Frankie. They had a lot of respect for him. They really loved the songs, these mob guys. They really loved the music. And no one more than Chip DiCarlo. Anytime you got a problem, you reach out to me. Frankie tells a wonderful story about Jip. He said to this tough guy, when you see Frankie Valley walking down the street, you're gonna cross the other side of the street. But if Frankie trips and falls, you better be there to catch him before he hits the ground. That's how Jip DiCarlo stuck up for Frankie Valli over the course of his life. And Frankie was not mobbed up, you know, it was because of the music. Before we went to Broadway, all of us played eight or nine different roles in the show. When we went to Broadway, Des had called me and said, I want to switch you over to play Norm Waxman because then I can use you as a musician as well. Now I'm doing Norm Waxman in the movie. We were considering him for that part as Jip DiCarlo when he said, by the way, I can play Norm Waxman as well. He says, I've played both roles. I said, great, well, we haven't played Norm Waxman. Come ahead, Vince. Norman, what's up? You're late. Norm Waxman was a Jewish money lender to the mob, and he lends money to Tommy DeVito, and it gets a little dangerous because the bills keep going up, the VIG keeps getting higher and higher. How much does Tommy owe you? 150 large. What? $150,000. Jesus Christ. Playing the role that is a threatful one is fun. I've stalled my people as long as I can, but it's in too deep. They want their money. Now, before something unfortunate happens to one of you, and it all goes up in smoke. Movies are very different than the plays. There is something very nice about it. The curtain goes up at 8 o'clock. You're so used to playing the part, you know your lines. Making movies, it's a whole different discipline. I'm surprised he's still walking around. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Jip. We like their songs. Anybody else, you'd already be in the hospital. You're going from a Broadway show to a film, I think, you know, you've got to really try and pick carefully the right moments to perform for a live audience as opposed to a movie audience. And I thought he did a great job putting that off and was really passionate to do the film version. He gives you that performance of that shrewd money guy. And as an editor, we're always trying to get not only his visual expressions and reactions, but there's body language that goes in there. And you can say a lot with it just by your movements and your looks. And Donnie is great in his part. Frankie, you know it was nothing personal. Oh, say goodbye. The greatest gift for me is while I'm shooting the film, I'm gonna be turning 50. And on that day, I get to shoot a scene with Christopher Walken. And I think that's the best birthday present anybody could ask for. He called me the day that he was on the set with tears and said, I can't believe I'm standing here and I'm about to play a scene with Chris Walken. It's kind of wonderful. I'm kind of still thinking, when it, wait, am I gonna wake up from this dream? I will always have this memory and this this lovely experience, I'm, I'm over, overwhelmed.